Okay. This video is important to me because it's a dangerous situation. And I want to put this video up. A lot of people don't know about this, so... Could help others out in the long run. I have different videos on electricity. I even have a playlist, electrical playlist. You guys can take a look at that, see if it helps you out. Um, one of them, I large panel, 500 amps, I don't know. Took the face off, give you a general description of it. Uh, what to look for, if the electrician's there, if he's charging you, what he's, what he's talking to you about. So you kind of get an understanding of what your bill says, okay? The breakers go in a service panel. In the service panel come either up or down. Even could be sideways, you know, it doesn't really matter. But most of the time you see them up or down. They call them legs where the power comes in from the street or exterior service panel. If you have a sub panel inside. This is a sub panel we're looking at. If you don't have a panel outside and you got direct current going to this panel and you don't have a main breaker or shut off, this could be a very dangerous situation. So hence I'm putting the video up. Either way, you got a, a rail where the breakers usually clip on and snap into the bus bar. The bus bars where the legs come in and they give current to the bus bars, okay? There's usually two per panel. There can be more depending upon if it's for factory machinery, stuff like that, commercial grade, okay? But for the house, for normally, for condos, apartments, things like that, you'll see just two, okay? Unless you need a three-phase for some kind of heavy equipment like air conditioning or something like that, where they use three-phase, okay? Then you'll see three legs. But you usually don't see more than two, that's the average, okay, for normal situations. This bus bar is supposed to be clean, nice and neat. If they're corroded, dirty, uh, got black marks on them, like they're sparking, they're arced, that could be a dangerous situation, okay? Um, can actually heat up the breakers, heat up the bus bar, and could get worse. So hence I'm putting the video up. You're gonna see me give a general description how I go through the details looking for electrical fault this was only one breaker that wasn't resetting at all and people think right away well change the breaker change the breaker but if you see the situation do not put a breaker back where you got it from try to move it around somewhere else if you have space in that sub panel or panel okay uh, you might have to put a pigtail there where you connect two wires together with a wire or something other type of connector what makes it more difficult in this location in this video is this is aluminum wiring and they use arc fork breakers. So any type of little type of arc or spark can trip that breaker. Um, they don't work as good as advertised all the time. But other times they work too good. So <laughs> it's crazy anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's basically a dangerous situation. And if I see a situation like this and I can make a video, I will definitely pull it up. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, I want to make this little video for you guys. Let's open this up. Yesterday I got a call at just after 8 p.m. And I got over there and I, the fuse on this side kept tripping. And usually I'll ask the tenant um, or the client, whoever it is, we're using something. 50% of the time that works. Uh, yeah, I was in this room and I was using this. I'll unplug it and find out it's a surge protector, a bad light fixture, a uh, socket that's not working. Uh, usually directs me directly to the problem location or the issue. The other 50% of the time it doesn't work. <laughs> After that, I have to go to try to unplug everything if, if I can. Um, and then try to reset breakers or that particular breaker and I we unplugged everything upstairs and couldn't get the breaker finally I said okay let me go to the shop get another one I got a new breaker and right here can you see all this corrosion here on this bus bar this should be one clean copper color all these black spots here like water hit it more than one time and it just got corroded 
All right, then you can see the top bus bar here, or the top pin or node, whatever they call it, where the breaker sits on, picks up power from this orange copper bar. It's got a black spot on it like it was arcing or something. And this one down here is really clean like it was never used. So when I installed the new breaker, I put it on the bottom right here. And sure enough, no issues, no complaints. I took the two pictures and I sent them to my electrician. He's a master electrician and his father's a master electrician. Family owned business. Uh, they're really good. They're reliable. So he's going to come take a look at it tomorrow, see what's going on. But if you're a maintenance personnel or even you own your own location, you see something like this, get a qualified personnel to let you know if something's going on here. You don't want sparks in this box because between here and the breaker, there is no breaker unless you have outside breakers. Thankfully, we have external panel outside um, 300 amp for three locations. And then this is the 100 amp service here indoors in this particular sub panel per unit so thankfully we do have that some locations don't so if you see something like this and you don't have a breaker between this sub panel and another panel you could be asking for issues that's why I'm putting this video up okay good pin bad pin uh, even the bus bar uh, doesn't look good and having sparks back here can cause a fire Let's see what we got the next one we do I only took two pictures this day because I look at this and I was like, this is crazy. On this side, it's the same thing. Like somebody was actually using a breaker here. They said same problem. And they did what I did. They put the breaker on the bottom. <laughs> um, late coming in is uh, where the power is coming in from the external breaker outside. The external service panel. And there, sh there should be a lake on the other side. I don't know if I can see that. Oh, uh, there it is right there. It's kind of hiding. There's the other leg. Okay, so this might go halfway and the other one might come halfway. They might split right here. Sometimes you see one on top, one at the bottom. It's, this is just this particular panel. Either way, you can see that looks really bad. I didn't want to bother the electrician at late at night. You know, he's got his life also. So basically, I wait till this morning after 10 o'clock and then just text him. He texts me right back. He says, he'll be here tomorrow. Take a look at it. Let me know. Uh, can they turn off the external breakers, clean it up, or does it need to be changed? I got nervous when I saw this. I actually told the tenant not to use, like, if he has a washing machine or a dryer, don't use it. Don't draw that much amperage right now until I get a qualified personnel to look at this panel see if it's got to be changed out. And he agreed to it. He said he's fine. He's not going to do anything crazy, so that's good. So, again, for your information, you see something like this, don't let it go. Call a qualified personnel, okay? It should be nice and neat and clean. It should be look nothing like this at all. This is not a good deal.